They kicked your back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 What's up, everyone? This is Bree from Fractured Compass, and today we have something a little different called Take Five, where we interview a special guest. But of course, we had to put our own little weird spin on it. So we are doing a taste test to accompany it. The way it works is with each of the questions. We will give our guests something to try as we ask them, including one submitted by you. Today our Take 5 guest is Scare Actors since we are fresh off of the Halloween season. And this is Jesse. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys. Welcome. <laughs> all fans from all over the world. <laughs> we got some questions for you, Jesse. But first, to start this off, because we are doing a little bit uh, our version of, of Take 5, go ahead and try one of our various snacks from around the world. We don't know what it is. We, I don't know what it is. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? A typical Mexican cookie. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> that, that's, something, that's something I grew up on. <coughs> I grew up on these. They're like um, bombones is what they're called. So I'm bombones is what on. they're called. If Ooh. any of you guys ever had them, just two marshmallows, four marshmallows stuck into one little cookie. That's what it is. It is delightful. And coconut. And coconut, yeah. I got that from the top. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's how we're going to start this off. I also have paper towels and a spit bucket. Just in case it tastes that bad. <laughs> Just in case <laughs> things go wrong. Um, so we're going to start that off because this is Monster Edition of Take 5. We thought we'd bring in various candies and snacks from around the world because it's Halloween and it's all about candy and treats, right? Exactly. Right. Uh, ooh, I wish it was like that all year round, but we get 30 days, 31 days, and that's it. Alright, so Jesse, what haunt event do you work at? Not Scary Farm. Not Scary Farm? And I've done that for three years. Three years, so what was your first uh, role? So my first role for me was, I was an eyeless professor for Forevermore, if you guys remember that maze, in 2015. Mm -hmm. And then I came back in 2018 for the depths. And this year I said, okay, I want to come back, but I don't want a maze anymore. I really want to go to streets. It was between two for me, Ghost Town and um, Camp Snoopy, which is the hollow. And I honestly was shooting for Ghost Town at first, but um, Brandon told me, because of your body structure, I want you in the hollow. I want you to be a face soldier because you have the body for it. Mm -hmm. It's either that or I put you in infected. And I was like, no, I don't want a maze. I do not want a maze. Even though I love infected since the last year, I want to go and do the hollows. Because I already closed, my goal for, for Haunt, for me at least, was to open a maze and close one. I've done those two already. Mm -hmm. I closed forevermore and I opened the depths. Okay. So I, I ended it on a good run for the forevermore and then I set the standard for the depths. So now I was like, okay, next challenge is streets. Mm -hmm. Whether it was makeup or mask, I've done both now. Now it's how am I going to react to a 360, 360 of people all around me. Right. That's where it became very difficult this season when I was in the hollows when I first started on um, Brian Hoffman who is aka Panda um, for Infected. He's done Infected when Infected was out in the hollows and he came to the hollows and he was doing both I believe. He was in Infected for a couple of nights. Yeah I think he did it, he did it for one night for sure um, and he was in I think they put him in quarterbacks I believe which is I mean you know being infected if you're in those two street areas, you are in the 360 and quarterback. I got to do once this year, and it's it's a challenge. So yeah, he was he was up in I think quarterbacks. And he's 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 been doing it for so long. He started infected, and now he was doing both infected and the hollow. So yeah. he has a lot of experience doing it. So does you. You know, we all have done it before. But when you look at the veterans, you you think you you're good and you see them perform you're like oh whoa yeah you're, I'm like, you're no, like never mind. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm okay I'm not gonna toot my horn anymore because they're better than me yeah and I learned that right away but that's why I went to Brian and Brian made it clear to because he every new face of soldier he was like hey whoever's brand new to streets raise your hand and of course there was there was four of us this year uh -huh. he's like, okay I'm gonna sit down with each one of you one by one and we're gonna go over how I want you to be out there because he's the general, so he's technically in charge of all the faceless soldiers, the character that he created on his own. Okay, so of all the faceless soldiers, he's you guys have a status. Does he wear something a little different on his costume? Yeah, so here wear the, the badges. The okay. badges and the drapes, the, the sleeves. 
Okay. So you'll know he's the general. Got it. Um, and he's in charge of us. He let that know us on the, um, when we we're training out there for a scare school. He was letting us know that he's going to be in charge of us. And in my head, I said, good. So I have someone to work off of now. Mm -hmm. I know how to react to my general, the one who's in charge of me. Yeah. And he also made another clear that you guys um, are controlled by the witch. Just by, well, the hag. Sorry, mm -hmm. the hag. And I said, okay, cool. But he took us out one by one and he set us down and he said, okay, my, my experience was Jesse, I need you to perform for me like if I'm a guest. Okay, come at me. And he trained me to get better and better and better because every day he would give me something different. Every night that we performed, he was like, okay, well, I don't like that you did that. Do this instead. And eventually after the second week was over, he's like, now nah, I want you to go find your own groove. So I found my own group and he was okay, you guys did good. Um, Riley said, yeah, you did a good job out there too. And when you have two veterans to tell him that you're doing a good job out there, I mean. It makes you feel good. Yeah, you make yeah. it feel good because like, you start. At least you're going in the right direction. Yeah, whether, <laughs> it might not be the greatest performance because my first time being out there, but I'm going the way that you guys want me to do this. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're new to like, I can interact with people more with the mazes because you're you, usually with the maze, you're in a group setting right away. Whereas streets, there's like, you have a big, big break in for streets, and you're like mm -hmm. this corner, that corner, and you don't know anybody. Right. Well, Camp Snoopy, CS, they just welcomed every new person that was ever to streets, and they made us all feel like family. That's what I loved about it, was that family feel that the Hollows gave, the Camp Snoopy gave to us. Everybody that was there just welcomed me and like, we're family. And from then on, the shenanigans started. Awesome. All right, so let's move on to our next snack. Our next snack is going to be uh, Muy Bon Roll. I have no <laughs> This so is fun. So, uh, let's take this. I taste peanuts right away. Mm hmm It doesn't look bad. Peanuts and chocolate. Yeah. That was delicious. Peanuts and chocolate. I know it's going to get worse, though. <laughs> it's I'm not bad. I'm going to enjoy these. <laughs> no, it's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so, with your current character, as a faceless soldier, does your soldier have a backstory like that you created for your own self? So, because it was my first time, I went off of what Brian had said to me. and you just are under our control, you know, the hag controls us and you follow my lead, you know, she's gonna, that's all I had. Mm -hmm. And I had my new, all of us faceless soldiers that were new, the four of us that were new, and even talking to um, Evan, whose um, hot name is Big Bird, asking him, hey, and he was just like, we're just soldiers, bro. We came back from the dead. And I was like, okay, do we have a story then? I'm like, there was a story, but to create it on my own, I was like, no, I didn't create it on my own, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I wish I would have, because when I saw how certain Ghost Town characters were created, how they had a massive, like, I mean, like, people were writing scripts for their characters. Right. You know, they spend months and months, yeah. Hard backstories. Yeah, for the, um, yeah. <laughs> for Jax, right? Yeah. That was a good character that was created. And, you know, the process that you guys explained, you guys went through the training, you guys went to the story background, how to actually, what is your character, how you going to perform. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I said that if I was, I wanted to go to Ghost Town because I was going to have the opportunity to do that. But because I didn't know how it was going to work out for me, mm -hmm. I went to the audition saying, okay, I'm either going to, I want streets, so... There's four streets, Forsaken Lake, Carnival, Ghost Town, and The Hollows. Yeah. For me, if I had to choose, like I said, it was one of the two. But because I didn't create a script or anything, I think that's one of the reasons why I wasn't put in Ghost Town, because I didn't create anything. And it was my first time auditioning for a street, so right. I, didn't, I didn't know what to do. Now that I know what to do, I was okay, now do I come back next year as a face of soldier? Do I come back as a scarecrow? You know, or do I come back as a whole different monster before Ghost Town? Mm -hmm. Either way, when I come back next year, it's going to be with this story now. Mm -hmm. Because now I have the experience of it, so now next year it's, i got the story now down. Yeah. Whatever it is. So what I'm planning on doing is writing a backstory for her, the face of soldier if I become one. Mm -hmm. If I want to stay in the hollows, I'll create a story for the scarecrow. My own version of a scarecrow and why he's a scarecrow. Right. And if I want to go to Ghost Town, I'll have a third story ready for me for Ghost Town. I think the one thing that I want everyone to know is that when you get put into a scare zone, you kind of don't want to leave it anymore. Now that I'm in the hollows, it's like I forgot all about Ghost Town. I forgot about Forsaken Lake, even though we kind of communicated Forsaken Lake because we're right next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, I never thought about Carnival. I'm a clown in general, but I would not be a clown as a performer. <laughs> I'd be a horrible clown. I would not be able to do it. So kudos to those who do the 
carnival, but I just can't do it. I know I can't. I mean, I'll laugh at my own self instead of scaring someone. So I can't. I can't do carnival. Ghost Town. The performers there are top notch. I always said if you're gonna do Ghost Town and you're brand new to streets, you are very lucky because those are mostly the veterans that are at Ghost Town and they know exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Same thing for half the people in the hollows. They've been there for either mazes or street, other streets, but they've been there for a while too. Right. So, you know, for me, I want to stay at the hollows. If not, I have a character in mind for Ghost Town. Okay. Working a haunt or any, any horror event, any haunt event, it's not for everybody. The people don't understand the physicality that it takes. I don't care how much you work out. It does take a toll on you. You know, yeah. I do all the card in the world and it will not prepare me for haunt. It will not. The running around, the scaring people, finding ways to like go on top of rocks and whatnot, jumping off of them. I mean, your knees, your elbow, it just... Yeah. You're, you're using muscle groups that you don't usually work out in a gym and you're like, oh, I didn't know that existed yeah. and that hurts now. Yeah. You <laughs> jumped like, like, for me, I jumped off one of the rocks um, this past season. I'm just like, I'm like, oh, well, there goes my knee. I'm like, oh, Faceless <laughs> soldiers hurt, guys. Oh, so you're limping. <laughs> Or not being able, not knowing what it's like to run with a mask and falling into a planner, which oh, I did. Oh, so I'm no. over here scar <laughs> scaring somebody. <laughs> and you guys know, like, I'm running around, right? And I had this girl, like, literally screaming, running away from me. And what do I do? Planner. Oh, poof. I'm like, oh. I get back up and I'm like, no one, no one saw that, right? No one right. saw that. It's dark over here. <laughs> I walk away, but then I have Andrew, who is another, um, who is another lead of ours, and he's like, "Are you alright?" I'm like, "Shut up, Andrew!" <laughs> no laughing and laughing at me. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I know." And it happens. It's hard to see out of those masks. It takes away peripheral vision sometimes. Yeah. Like, you just can't. You can't see down. Like, uh, this is just a baked corn snack. It's called um. Mm, I don't know what it is. Baked corn. Baked corn. Um, my um, my bowl? Oh my! I don't know what that is, but you're gonna try it. So have fun. All right. Corn, corn snap. Corn snap. It's like a Cheeto. It's like a really soft Cheeto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really soft. Oh, it's like a Cheeto. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a Cheeto. Yeah. It's like a Cheeto. Yeah. It's like a It's a Cheeto. a very salty Cheeto. And it melted. I didn't even chew it. It's yeah, it just like ugh. Just disappear. Okay, water. <laughs> disappear. <laughs> Why do they have a cheesy flavor? That was really salty. <laughs> that was oh. really salty. <laughs> I was. That, that's not corn. That's a Cheeto. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So. Are there any particular moments that stood out to you this season, um, like, you know, using your favorite scare tactic, anything like that? My sword. I had two swords. You had two swords? Um, I first started off with my, my first one. Was it plastic? Or it was a plastic sword. Plastic? Okay. The first one was plastic, and um, I beat the hell out of that sword. I mean, I chugged it, I used it to scrape, to try to make some flames. I, I was doing whatever I could to do it, and finally... Um, <laughs> the, it made me laugh because I saw it was breaking. I'm like, it will last me the rest of the night if oh. I hold it a certain way. I didn't hold it a certain way. So I'm coming up to a guest and I'm going to like pretend to fling it at them. Well, guess what? The sword went and it actually did go. I'm like, oh. oh <laughs> I, my went God. To, I went to the guest and I'm like, I'm so sorry. The sword broke. And I ran away with my sword and that night I just used my hands. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to use my sword. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Broken. <laughs> no, like mine's broken. Look. <laughs> All right. So let's try our next parlays. Par parlays. Parlay. Parlay G. Parlay. These look delightful. Sure. Fine. Mm. It's a cookie. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, this is good. It's like a sharp end. Uh, yeah, it's probably from England. We have some uh, questions. From fans, TextFi2019 asks, what were your emotions when you made the cast of The Hollow? Mm. At first, I didn't know what to expect. I was scared, nervous. Mm -hmm. The moment I walked out of the audition room and back out to the parking lot, one person was there to greet me and made me feel welcome right away and excited to be there. And that was Riley. Okay. Riley was out there right away and he was asking who was, he kept asking everybody who was The Hollows, who was The Hollows. He wanted to know who was a part of his team. Mm -hmm. Riley was the first person I ever met from the Hollows. He 
he welcomed me. He added me to the group right away, and we were like, "You're the hollows." Mm -hmm. I was like, "What's your position?" I told him what I was, and I was a face soldier. And then um, meeting him, I think, set the tone for how I was in the field now, because he welcomed me right away. And then he's like, "I want you to know that we're family." I was like, "No matter what, CS is a family, so don't be nervous. I'll introduce you to other people. You know, get to know people in the in the chats and the group when we see there." But Riley made me feel as a family right away. Right as I'm walking the gate from, from the audition into the parking lot, he's standing there waiting, asking every single person who made who what. Really? And he was the reason why I was like really excited and happy now. Because at first, it was the nervous. Because, okay, I'm on streets. I finally made it. Yeah. Now I'm about to perform. How am I going to perform? And all these emotions running in my head. Then I see Riley's face, smiling, happy. Hey, you're the hollows, man. Hey. I'm like, oh. Now I'm excited. Yeah. All the nerves, everything just went away. Now I'm just excited to be out there because people like him. So he made me feel happy and excited to be a part of the group. That's awesome. What a That's nice awesome. bird. That was what a nice bird. bird. What a nice, nice bird. bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into the, uh, let's get into a little bit of the weird and wrap this up. Uh, I know. This is gonna be horrible. horrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what in the? our tiny little shot glasses, I'm already. We have chocolate coffee crickets. I knew it. <laughs> well, I knew it. And there's like a bug already. I see legs. <laughs> you see legs? I see something else. Okay, so. Do you hope we really going to do this? <laughs> you no. don't have to. But no, if you're going to do it, I'm going to do it. But I'm like, we're really going to do this? <laughs> I'm saying the same thing, Jesse. This is my first time eating a bug. Me too. Okay. So we're gonna, this is, People eat cockroaches and it's like, I don't know how you're gonna eat this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh. It was that or a scorpion? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, all right, are you ready? Cheers. Oh, God. I don't wanna oh. breathe. I don't wanna breathe. This <laughs> is <just> so bad. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> This is so bad. Do not throw up. Oh my god. Okay. That tastes so bad. Oh, well, do you get another puree for parley or whatever those crackers that are? Was nutty. I'm like, is my bread smell? <laughs> your are your Wash it down with a cookie. I heard, was a, I heard a crunch and that was done. <laughs> oh, bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and tell my mama ate a cricket. <laughs> and she's gonna call me a disgusting animal. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. So that's done. Huh? <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. Ew. I don't need the cookie. I'm good. Oh my god. I'm good. It was good. It was fine. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was great. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Uh, Ew. And, uh, <laughs> Hey man, she's so, got like six more of these to do. Yeah, I got five more to go. So what's what scares you? What's that? <laughs> that? That scared me. Wow. Oh my god. That just sucks the moisture right out of your mouth. It was I think really that was dry. The, yeah, that was the problem. That's fucking disgusting. It was bad. Oh my god, I'm sweating after that one. Jesus. I think the anticipation was worse. It was. Oh, okay. All right, enough. I'm gonna think about the little Just, guts and everything. No, there's no guts. <laughs> no guts. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god. You know, you should pick no, a cockroach or something and just eat it, the next one. No. <laughs> Spider. I, st I picked a little bug. I'm so no. glad you did. Not the big I'm bugs. I'm so glad. It's, that was gross. So, what scares you, Jesse? That's a very generic. Okay, that's a bit more specific. Well, like, what, what, uh, let's go, like, what, actually, like, not, like, clowns, spiders, like, so, like if you went to a like, hot event, yeah, would you, be something that scary. Or like, you know, like what certain scare tactic gets you most of all? Okay, I, I won't lie. Even though I said I would never, pref I would, like, I'm not meant for a carnival. Mm -hmm. 
people in Carnival scared me. They did actually scare those damn clowns came out of like it's because they have a twitch reaction that I'm not ready for. Mm -hmm. and that's what I hate. Cause they they have good poker faces and I hate that because I'm looking at them and I'm like, I know who's gonna come and scare me. Cause you can tell when a monster's gonna come and scare you by the way they're reacting or the way they're walking towards you. Well, I had so many clowns just walking straight up and I didn't know which one was gonna do something and one did one, I got scared, then the other one looks and I was like, Jesus Christ. Those twitch reactions, mm -hmm. out of nowhere, those, those are what scares me. But in general, like as far as monsters go, there was only one that creeped me out. And I think it was Ghost Town. Um, it was the bride. Mm -hmm. That damn bride, it actually scared me. That gave me, because I, um, I don't know if you guys watched Insidious or um, The Nun and all that stuff. Cause th yeah. Those are kind of movies that scared me. Okay. Just not the actual movie, but the character itself. You keep envisioning it in your head. So when I was scaring, I was in uh, Rope Drop. And she, the bride was always on rope drop. So I'm watching her perform, but every time she would scare someone, the way she would do it would just creep me out. Mm -hmm. Holding that damn candle and just going really slow to someone. I'm like, if someone came up to me, I was supposed to sock the hell out of them because that scares me. If I saw that for real, I would hit somebody because that scares me. Mm -hmm. So I think the bride was the only character this year that I saw that really, really scared me besides Jax over here who came out of the corner out of nowhere, <laughs> you know, and scared me too. I was like, Jesus. The clowns are good, but they're not. Clowns don't actually scare me. But I mean, like the titch reaction, fine. But an actual character, something that really scared me, was the bride. Okay. The only character that actually gave me a heart attack, which is watching her perform, scared the heck out of me. I was watching and watching, and I, I would get traumatized just watching her. And I'm like, hey, wait, I'm in costume, huh? <laughs> I can't just stand here either, not do anything, but just watching her do it was just like I would be really frightened. I understand why kids would run down the um, down silver bullet away from her for that. You know, because it's creepy. Yeah. It's not like she's doing anything different than any of us would. It's just the fact that how she goes about it. Yeah. She's standing still, looking straight at you with a damn candle, just walking very slowly up to you. And I you're mean, just like, and there's something unsettling. You're yeah. It's like, like uh, no. Like she's some like kind of smiling too. And smiling, yeah. Yeah. And looking down. It's not even like she's looking straight at you. She's looking like this. <laughs> and you know, when your eyes get darker and darker and darker, that's what makes the character even more scarier. So when you're getting closer, your eyes get more into it. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna go walk that way now. So she scared me, Jack scared me, um, the clowns scared me, um, and it wasn't, the clowns, like I said, I props to them because of the damn twitches and noises they have, but as far as me not expecting anything, Jax and the bride, two characters that really scared me this year. Yeah. That I wasn't expecting at all, or the sounds that came out of the character, that scared me too. <laughs> because I wasn't expecting it. Well, there you go. She's right there. All right. So, let's wrap this up, and this is going to be, uh, oh, it's going to be another game. Ugh, I've tried these. Damn. I, Did you pick a random one, or? This is a, I know what the flavors are. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, but here's, here's how it's going to play out. You're going to tell me two truths and one lie about yourself. And then I'm going to guess what's the lie. If I get it right, you have to choose one of these cups. Oh, I get to choose one of the cups. If I get it wrong, I have to choose one of these cups. And what are the flavors? And it's either going to be dog food or chocolate pudding. Okay. Okay. Not the Wait. worst choices in Not the worst choices. <laughs> and you have a spit bucket right here just in case you want to like spit that up. If I can eat a, co <laughs> a, well, a cricket, I can do this. Two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. I was born in France. I go commando. And okay, so I'm gonna say the lie is that you were born in France. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I made it so obvious. <laughs> I was gonna say Mexico, but I'm like, no, never mind. They're all gonna know that already. All right. So since I won, you have to choose. You have to choose one cup. That one. Go ahead. <laughs> you can spit it out if you want. <laughs> you know what? I used to work for Petsmart and I had that pool before. Okay. You can have the other one if you want. I honestly don't know if that one's dog food too. Really? Yeah, because I dare they all you. look the same. Okay. I dare you. Here we go. That one I couldn't do. Nope. <laughs> <laughs>
No barfing in my room. Her reaction was priceless. <laughs> was that worse than the cricket? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty bad. That's why I took my oh, dog. Sh that's why I picked up. Uh, okay, no, now I have to eat. That was bad. The dog food was pretty bad. Yeah, that was bad. Alright. These cookies are delightful. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being on, Jesse. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> it, it, that's an aftertaste, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's an aftertaste of the dog That's food. what kind of made me like, yeah. <laughs> All right. It was so awesome for you to be here. Weird food. I wish you the best of luck next year with whatever you decide to do. I'll be going back to Knox. Well, I mean, I know, obviously, but... Um, and we'll see you later, man. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Remember to like, subscribe <laughs> for more take time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>